Okay, I now want to do a quick comparison between the Remora holster and what is probably my favorite holster that I own right now, and that's my Nate Squared Tactical holster. Uh, these are both for the same size guns. Uh, this one's a little more versatile. It holds um, a wider range of guns than this one does. Uh, this one will hold a lot of the same smaller guns, but it won't hold my roar ball like uh, the Remora will. Uh, so there's one thing the Remora has over the Nate Square Tactical is that it is a little, holds a few more guns than this one does. Uh, now another thing it does have over the room or of the uh, Nate Square is it doesn't have need for this clip. As you can see, the Nate Square has the clip on it. And the remora, as you know, has no clip. So it's easier to put in, easier to take out, easier to throw in and throw out quickly if you're taking just, you know, gun, if you're one of those people just put your gun on while you're running out, takes it out as soon as you get home. Uh, now, disadvantages, as you can see here on this gun, that safety is completely covered now. That manual safety is not going to be accidentally uh, turned off, switched off. Uh, just by touching it accidentally on this holster. It is better protected on this holster, whereas it was left exposed on this holster. Another advantage of the Nate Square Tactical. The suede back of the Nate Square Tactical is very comfortable against bare skin. So if you're wearing it in the summertime when you're not having an undershirt between you and your holster, this is the clear choice, choice over the Remora. Uh, it's just going to be much, much more comfortable and it holds in place very well. Now it does require the clip, but you know with a clip all you're doing you're working around a belt loop. So how hard is it to work around a belt loop? But so. Summertime, the Nate Square Tactical has it beat all to hell. Uh, now another thing, this one, as you can see on the Nate Square Tactical, it covers the whole gun from touching your body. I don't like the gun touching my body anywhere. Not only because of the butt damage my sweat can do to the gun, but because I just don't like it poking me. So it covers better. Now the Remora does have a, like I said, a sweat shield version that has a little bit more coming up in the back, but it still doesn't cover the grip from touching you. So uh, it is a little bit, there's a little better option available, but it's not, still not as good as the Nate Squared Tactical as far as keeping the gun from making contact with your skin. Uh, another thing is, like I say, when you go to the bathroom, this has to be taken off and put somewhere. This can stay clipped to your pants. It's small enough that you can just slide your pants down, keep them down, pull them back up with it still on. I've never had a problem doing that with this. Uh, so, you know, very different holsters. I'm going to have to give the overall best holster award to the Nate Square Tactical here, but I am going to mention that the Remoras, if you're one of these people that just you just run out, you put your holster on, and then you take it off when you get back, this is so easy to throw in your waistband, take it out when you get home. And if you're going to have an undershirt on underneath, uh, between your uh, pants and your uh, gun and you know you've got an undershirt also with that and you're not going to be having the gun touch your skin it holds it really really good it's a great alternative uh, they're about in the same price range they're not much off price range you know like one's 30 35 one's 35 40 so they're not much off in the price range department uh, now I will have to say also that the Nate Square Tactical does hold the gun more securely. This stretch to fit fabric holds it more securely than this uh, general fitting shape here, the sewn fabric that's not stretchy, not uh, form fitting. So it does hold the gun, retains the gun a little better. And even the Nate Square Tactical, you can even get the polymer ones that do an even better job of it. Uh, so overall, retention wise, I'd have to give it to the Nate Square Tactical too. The, the only place that the Remora is actually going to win, like I said, is in convenience for quick putting it on, taking it off. So if you're someone who wears your gun all day, you put it on, of course you're going to enjoy this holster better or one of the other holsters offered by Nate Square Tactical. But if you're someone who just throws your holster on for a few minutes and takes it back off as soon as you get home, this is something you really should look into. You really will be surprised, I think, at how well it holds your gun in place. I was pleasantly surprised. I was a real a skeptic when I first got this, I thought I'd be shifting it around constantly, but you really, you put it in your waistband, you forget about it, and it's just, it stays put, it holds the gun well. I didn't find any downward movement of the gun at all. Uh, nothing, the gun never slipped down. Now, it did push up a little bit as I sat and moved, and one point when I was moving a little bit, I had noticed that the gun had pushed up out of the holster a little bit because I had been leaning over very sharply to do something in my glove box, and I noticed my gun had eased up a little bit like out of the holster like that. So I had to shove it back down in, but the holster itself had not moved. So still a really good holster for the price. If you're looking for something to just stick in, you don't want to wear a belt, uh, and you don't want to wear uh, something that has an outside clip, the Remora holsters are something I would really, really look at. Otherwise, unless you're looking for that super convenience, uh, check out the Nate Squared Tacticals.